Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Salon Education. It's me, Jacob Norman, uh, here with another episode of Dubious Advice for Hairdressers. Today we're gonna be talking about consultation. I know what you're gonna say, and I know that you think, oh, I'm great at consultations, I do a proper consultation for everybody. But this is for the people who may struggle with consultations, some of the people who maybe don't do the consultations because you know they've been doing the same clients over and over again, or maybe this is for the person who is just looking to improve some of their skills. Over the past couple of months, I've had a few clients reach out to me before they book their appointment. They ask for a separate appointment to do a consultation for the haircut. Usually I would be like, yes, this is fine. I always wanna make sure that my clients are happy. I always wanna make sure that I can give the best service every time. Now, I only do haircuts. This question being asked to me is a little confusing. I understand a consultation for, you know, changing their haircut or chopping it all off or even color. But these are people who just want to trim or just want something fixed a little bit. You know, I would be okay if the reason that they came in for the consultation wasn't that, oh, my hair's just been messed up the last few times or, oh, I have curly hair and my last stylist told me she knew what she was doing and it turns out she didn't. Or it's. I just haven't been able to find a hairdresser that I love and I never feel comfortable with anybody. So this bothers me for a few reasons. Every single client that sits in my chair, no matter who they are, no matter what kind of hair they have, it's no matter if I see them every six weeks, every six months, or you know, every six years, they always get a consultation like they're a brand new client. Every time they sit down and I'm like, well, what are we doing? How are we going to change your look? What are you liking? What aren't you liking? Even if we're just doing a trim, and I know the client and we've talked, I always make sure to ask a few questions to really re reveal why they're back in my chair. I look at every client who sits in my chair kind of like a cut correction. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, you can't possibly do that. Some people just want to trim. Great, perfect. But I want you to kind of break down your client a little bit. Every time somebody sits in my chair, I think to myself, well, why are they here? What are they doing here? Why are they back? Why are they here for the first time? Who are you? Figure out why they're there. Whether it be that they are just back for a trim or they need something fixed. I want you to think about every client like a new client that you're fixing their haircut. They sit down in your chair, even if they just saw you. Hello, welcome in, I'm Jacob, blah, 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 blah. So what brings you in today? Oh, well, I need a haircut. Okay, great, let's talk about your hair. I don't want them to sit there and I don't want them to be like, I want to trim with layers. Because that means one thing to you and one thing to me. That means, you know, maybe round layers or square layers or perpendicular layers or parallel layers or whatever. Don't talk layers to me. Let's talk about how you feel. A good haircut is not about the shape. A good haircut's not about the precision. A good haircut's about how they feel. A good haircut is about, you know, if they're able to style it, if they're able to do it, if they love it. And I want all of my clients to love their hair. Tell me about the last time you loved your hair. Oh, well, you know, it's been a while, or oh, I don't know, I've never loved my hair, or it was okay last time. Find a time that you loved your hair last time. How did it make you feel? Oh, you know, I actually really loved when my hair was in a bob because, you know, it was super short and funky and fun and fresh. Okay, great, do you wanna do a bob today? No, 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 no. Well, why not? Oh, well, I've gained 30 pounds and I hate it. And I'm gonna look ugly and I'm fat and blah, blah, blah. So the second that they start kind of going on that negative spiral, you need to bring them right back. Well, no, you're not ugly, you're not fat, nope. So I think a bob would look beautiful on you, but maybe it's too much length to take them Whatever it is. How did that bob make you feel? Oh, you know, it was just easy, it was light, it was airy, it moved a lot. Or do you have pictures of it? I, I would love to see it. And sometimes what I've noticed is they didn't love the bob. They loved that, you know, the front of their hair had bangs. Or they loved that they had really light layers. Or they loved that they had no layers and it was really full everywhere. So when you figure out when the last time they loved their hair, you can kind of figure out what they're looking for in a haircut. So I want you to start asking that in all of your consultations. When was the last time you loved your hair and why did you love it? How did it make you feel? So if they say that they loved their hair last time and it wasn't with you, the question is, well, why are you here? What did they do? Wrong. How do I not make that mistake? So they sit in my chair. They saw Susie Q down the street. When was the last time you loved your hair? Oh, you know, 
I loved it last time because she had been going to her for the last 15 years and she does a really good job and la 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 la. Okay, great. Why didn't you go back? Oh, you know, it just always feels like the same and I just don't know what to do with it anymore. When you find out what they love, how they feel, and what they're actually doing with their hair, you're gonna be stronger at your consultations. You're gonna be stronger building that rapport with your clients. Your clients are gonna love you more and they're gonna send you more friends. I always start my consultations off like a conversation. Uh, did you style it today? Is this bedhead? What is your bedhead like? I always try to make sure that I can really reveal what's going on in my chair today. Some clients come in and they're like, well, today, you know, I just washed and left so you can see what my hair looks like on a normal basis. Or sometimes they come in and they're like, I wanted you to see my hair straight, but I never wear it straight. That always confuses me. So, you know, we're sitting down and it's always, what do you like about your hair? Oh, I like that it's long. Oh, I like the color. Okay, great, what don't you like? Oh, I don't like that I can't style it. I don't like the fuzzy ends. I don't like my layers. I don't like my bangs, my bangs are too long. Okay, great. I get all that information. So, that's dealing with new clients or clients who wanna change, right? Perfect. Let's talk about the client who only wants the trim. So, I really challenge my assistants this way. I say, you know, again, treat them like they are getting something fixed because even if it's been three months since their last haircut and they just want to trim, well, why are you back? If you loved it so much the last time, why are you here? Oh, it's too long. Oh, the layers are too heavy. Oh, it's not styling for me. Whatever it is. So now you can really figure out and fine tune, you know, what can we do better? Because my philosophy on haircuts, and this is different for everybody, is I'd rather charge you a little bit more and see you less. Because I don't necessarily agree that, you know, we should have clients come in every four to six weeks for a trim, unless their hair is like in a pixie and it needs it. If you've got hair below your shoulders, I should be seeing you quarterly. Every 12 weeks is what I usually say. Do better consultations, see them less, they'll trust you more, and they'll pay you more. You know why? Because they've been screwed over time and time again from Suzy Q, from great cuttery or whatever it is down the street, trying to get them back in every six weeks for their money. I want to charge you more and see you less. So I'm going to do a better consultation. I'm going to make sure that this haircut lasts so that I don't have to see you in four weeks. I don't want that. I really don't. I'm going to show you a great haircut. I'm going to show you a few different styles. And I may even style it for you today if I've got time. If you can show that, you know, I do more of a consultation, I really care about my clients, they're gonna pay, they don't care. They wanna look good, they wanna feel good, and they wanna feel listened to. At the end of the day, it's your job to make them feel that way. Find out what they want, find out what they love about their hair, find out why they're back. Why, 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 why? Don't stop asking questions until you get the same answer over and over and over again. Does it make sense? Ask, why are you here? Why do you want this haircut? Why do you want layers? Why do you want light taken off? Eventually, if you keep asking why, eventually you'll get down to the true answers. Well, why do you want three inches taken off? I don't know. Well, why do you think you want three inches taken off? I don't know, it just feels unhealthy. Well, do you want that length taken off or do you want it to feel healthy? I want it to feel healthy. Okay, well, would you be happy with two inches taken off? Oh yeah, actually, it's way more length. Boom, now I know my length. Why do you want layers? I want fullness. Why do you want fullness? I don't know, it's flat now. Where is it flat? It's flat right here. Okay, well you want fullness here. Do you want fullness here? No, I don't really want fullness there. Great. I'll do layers to counteract the fullness here and give you more fullness here. Perfect, done. Boom. Ask a few more questions. Dig deeper. Be the expert. And if I get one more person asking me for a separate appointment for a consultation for a haircut, I'm gonna come find every one of you and be like, why didn't you ask them the questions? Ask questions, find out what they want. You're the professional. I see so many of you guys bitch and complain on these Facebook pages. Oh, I'm not taken seriously enough. Oh, my clients don't wanna pay my prices, blah, 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 blah. That's nothing against the clients, it's against you. You don't ask the questions. You don't figure out what they want. You aren't the expert, I'm sorry to say it. If you were, you would have 100% retention. But you don't, you know why? Because you get stuck in the rut of, oh, same thing as last time. Uh, okay, clients don't want that. You're the professional. They wanna feel the same way that they did the first time. They don't come back to you every time because, oh, she does a great job on my trim. 
No, she comes back to you because that first time that you saw her, you fixed something. You did something, you made her love her hair that first time. Make her feel that way every single time. It's your job. End of story. If you don't like that, get out of this industry. If you don't like that, go be a fucking server. If you don't like that, go do something else. Who cares? If you truly love what you do, if you truly want people to feel beautiful, which I hear from all of my beauty school students who, well, why are you in this industry? I wanna make people feel beautiful. You're not living up to that dream if you sit there and you just do a trim with layers every time. You're not living up to that dream unless you do with this proper consultation every single fucking time. Now, is this aggressive? Yeah, sure, who cares? But that's why people come back to me. That's why I'm known as the guy who fixes haircuts because I do a proper consultation. Do it every time. No ifs, ands, or buts. Thank you for watching. Um, I know I got a little heated, sorry. Um, but you know, I'm really passionate about this industry and I really care. Um, so I want you guys to do a few things for me. I know I've been saying this for the past couple of times, um, but I'm looking to start a podcast. So I have two questions for you. Who's your famous like celebrity hairstylist or who's your favorite hairstylist who's got a big following on Instagram? Leave that in the comments below. And if you could ask them one question, what would it be? Leave that in the comments below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, leave me some comments, tell me how you feel. Argue with me, I'm so down for that. Um, and I will see you guys next week. You know, one of these rants, this dubious advice for hairdressers comes out every Friday and new education every Wednesday. Thank you guys so much and have a great, beautiful week.